We're at GT Fish and Oyster this week, 531 North Wells. And you may recall a few months ago we did a Something You Should Eat here on their shrimp bruschetta. And we are back because I recently had another dish here that's been on the menu for quite a while and I don't think it's ever going to leave. It is the oyster, fried oyster po' boy slider. So it is a very small po' boy, the smallest po' boy in the world. And here's how they do it. They, um, they dredge usually West Coast oysters in some ground panko. It's a three-step process, but panko crumbs, definitely a part of it. And then they put it on some Highland Baking Company, local company, uh, Hawaiian bread. So it's not the Hawaiian bread you'd find in the stores. It is Hawaiian mm -hmm. bread made for them by Highland Baking. And then inside, um, in addition to the fried oyster, there's some peanuts, a sesame aioli, pickled jalapeno, and the key right here is the kimchi uh, made for them. It's a Napa cabbage kimchi, a little bit of pickled jalapeno, crushed peanuts, as I said, and some cilantro. So there's this brightness from the fresh herbs. There's, of course, that bite from the kimchi, which I just love, that little chili bite and little crunch from the Napa there as well. Um, a little brininess inside from the oyster, but of course it's been fried, so there's richness from the panko and the frying. It's really a, just a wonderful little combination. Four bucks per slider, but uh, when you come to GT Fish and Oyster, the, uh, the fried oyster po' boy slider is definitely something you should eat.